So we, as people who stutter, sometimes our stuttering uh, can bring on feelings of anxiety, can bring on feelings of anger, can bring on feelings of uh, sadness, bring on feelings of being ridiculed, feelings of uh, being stressed, feelings of even suicide. Um, due to our stuttering. Um, and this is the truth. We uh, have different emotions that goes on when we're speaking, while we're preparing to speak, uh, and after we speak. Um, I just want to encourage everyone to uh, know who is in your circle and to have a circle filled with people who support you people who are not ashamed of you, people who do not judge you for your stuttering, people who uh, uh, support you and not exactly uh, feel or exactly know what you're going through because they haven't gone through it, but they know what you are going through through what you experience and what you tell them. These are people uh, uh, who who do not finish your sentences on purpose due to your stuttering. Now, they may feel like or think that you're in a thought. When, when you're stuck, they may think that you're stuck on a thought, but you're actually stuck on a word or a, a, a syllable or a letter and they f finish your sentence. That's something different. I'm talking about those who finish, their, finish your sentence because they don't want you to embarrass them in front of their friends, in front of their family, in front of whomever. So I just want to make sure that we have a, a circle of people who are there for us and who uh, uh, listen to us and, and don't try to rush through or rush us when we're speaking. And like I said before, it may happen at times with our, with our true friends. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to encourage us to, to just be mindful of who is in our circle. Um, let's go to the scripture. Um, let's go to the scripture. I want to read the scripture. Let's go to Proverbs 27th chapter in the sixth verse. And it talks and it says this. Wounds from a sincere friend are better than many kisses from an enemy. So there are people who smile in our face and laugh at us behind our backs be because of our stuttering. Um, it doesn't matter what age group. It doesn't matter if you're in school. It doesn't matter if you're at work, wh wherever you are. These are people who do that. And these are people who are not your true friends. These are even, even people who laugh at you because you're stuttering in private. You know, um, I can understand if you both are laughing, eh, you know, I got stuck on this word and, you know, it was kind of funny how I did it. But that, you know, but people who laugh at you or joke about you or joke and laugh at your stuttering, even when they're upset, you know, and they and they joke about your stuttering and, you know, you two may be having an argument or something and they and they you know, mock your stuttering while you're speaking and things like that. They are not your true friends. Now, um, you know, you, you can always f forgive them for what they did, but just, just keep in mind uh, of who is in your circle. Um, we need that support because our stuttering, to some people, it's a big deal and it's a life changer. And and it affects our actions and what and what we do on this day and what we do on this day and what we do now and this hour and what we do the next hour. Like it affects our decisions and our lifestyle at times. And and for some, it's not a big part of our life and it doesn't affect our lifestyle as much as it affects other people. So we just have to be mindful of who is in our circle, who shows us support, who shows us love, and 
and who was there for us to encourage us to to continue to keep striving to continue to keep on focusing on our goals and to keep on uh, uh, finding our passion and finding our purpose right I want to go to another scripture I want to Im- inform you of someone who is a friend at all times and you know um, if you're a Christian or not uh, if, if, if you're not a Christian I want to encourage you to to, uh, to find this person that I'm talking about this this uh, person who is never going to uh, to leave you and uh, with your faith in this person in this in this spirit in this God um, you will find peace and you will find comfort in him at all times he will bring you a comfort that no one can can bring you right amen um, and he will bring you a love that no one can bring you as well how can we be friends with Jesus we have to believe in Jesus and just know that he will be there for us know that he will be there for us and whatever you ask for him in in the in the Lord's name in the Father's name uh, in Jesus's name excuse me he will uh, the Father will provide in his will in God's will so if you're asking for peace and comfort he will provide that for you if you're asking for for love and 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 discernment he will provide that for you these are the things that we are asking our friends for if we're asking for a, a love and peace from people uh, and we're asking that God provides us with friends and people in our lives who can who can support us and become true friends he will do that we have to have faith in Christ Jesus we have to be his friend we have to do his will we have to be his friend and have faith in Christ Jesus so I'm asking those I'm encouraging those who do not have a have a relationship with Christ um, to do that find out how we can have a, a friend who is always there for us who, who will never leave us right amen so this is all I wanted to say I, I just want to encourage those who feel low because you're stuttering or may feel a certain way I just want to encourage all of us to and even those who don't stutter to uh, uh, be mindful of who is in your circle and how they make you feel uh, or when you're around them all right so once again thank you for listening god bless you all